Great. Well, thanks for joining us today and congratulations on your awards. Thank you. So first of all, let's kick off with um, DevArt. And so tell us, um, how did um, DevArt um, become inspired? What inspired you guys to put on such a big show like this? So the, the insight, the thought behind DevArt came, um, initially the brief was about trying to engage the developer community to take up using our products and our platforms. Um, and we, 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 we thought long and hard about it. And we thought about like the... Um, the role that technology plays in the world today and in society. And if the art world is, is meant to reflect what's happening in society, we thought, well, wouldn't it, shouldn't, shouldn't technology have much more of a role in the art world? And if the developers and the coders are the people who are actually fueling the technology, um, why not look at them more as artists and um, allow them a place to put together some really interesting creative um, works of art and also give them a forum through the Barbican Gallery to actually display their work in an exhibition as part of the digital revolution. Well, the beauty of technology and code is that it's a universal language. But do you think um, that you guys uh, maybe launched that uh, exhibition here because Britain does have um, seemingly a bit behind in terms of lots of people in schools adopting coding and science as much as maybe some other countries? Um, yeah, I mean, it depends how you look at it. I mean, we've had a, obviously a very rich heritage in, in technology. Um, but I think um, part of it was actually to do what you, what you said in terms of, um, you know, there was a program that came out of it called the um, uh, Young Creators, the DevArt Young Creators. That was a summer program, a series of interactive creative workshops uh, where we invited young people from the schools in sort of Hackney, Tower Hamlets, those areas surrounding the Barbican, um, got them a free admission and then had the artists hang back for a few weeks in the summertime to show them all these incredible things you could do through the works of art that they had created using technology. Um, and that was, that was really to inspire them to take up um, coding as a creative discipline. Great. And I know you've just uh, won this award and uh, you should bask in that glory. But where's next? Where's next for DevArt? And what do you hope in terms of what this will do for the future for maybe people in um, the UK um, in science and code? So DevArt is currently, so it finished up at um, uh, in the UK at the Barbican uh, a couple of months ago. And it was, I think, cited as one of the most successful um, exhibitions they've ever put on at the gallery. Um, it's currently in Stockholm. And I believe it's making its way to Athens after that. Um, I think just the fact that it's traveling and bringing something, as I said, that has been done um, by people um, in the past, but bringing it to the masses and really showing um, the sort of physical side of what coding can help you create and how creative and artistic it could be. And the fact that it's touring the world for five years, I think is a pretty, pretty cool thing. So every city it ends up touching, hopefully, get some of the younger people there to see the other side and all these incredible things you can do. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much. And so moving on to Spell Up, which is another award that you uh, guys have won for, um, can you tell us about what, again, inspired the creation of this project? Uh, so it's quite simple. I think when we were looking at the new web technologies, we realized that uh, with a web speech API, which helps the computer understand what you say, was there. And it was mostly used just, you know, people people talk and they type what they say, but we wonder if we could use that technology to teach people and to help, their, to help them learn. Uh, so that's how it started. Fantastic. And um, what the hopes for this project moving forward? Because it's very applicable to not only adults wanting to maybe brush up on their language school, um, skills, but also for people in school. Would this be rolled out in terms of maybe set programs elsewhere? So one, you know, one of the important things about what we do is we initiated it, so we, we had the technology, we said, why don't we try that? And it was really successful. We had more than four people playing with it. We have uh, teachers using it. And what we hope is that it will uh, inspire other developers to use that technology and more specifically voice recognition technology for teaching. So will there be um, an enhanced version of a spell up coming out or any additions to it or maybe um, it being put out in other languages? No, so that, what was inspiring for us is to um, get people to play with the technology themselves. So we kind of showed the example, what you can do, show the possibilities and hopefully more people will get excited and use the technology for teaching. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.